L money, that's that BFF. My BFF. That 40 cal stretched out my Gucci belt. My Gucci belt. Still rocking Air Maxes cause I run this shit. All right, Sneaker Gang, what's happening? Shout out to everybody. Shout out to all the new Sneaker Gang members. Shout out to the original Sneaker Gang members. Shout out to everybody. You know that's all we doing is addressing Sneaker Gang. So first up, if you want to be a part of Sneaker Gang, all you got to do is believe. You know that. The two requirements is just believe and subscribe. So make sure you hit that subscribe. Uh, we got a... This is not a banger. This is a necessity. This is a necessity. Uh, for everybody to have and we got the full on full comparison like I promised y'all is here now These don't drop to February 17th, which is this weekend, but we got an early one and we got the 2018 uh, I've had a lot of black cement fours. I had the, the Let's not even get into it. Let's just Let's just focus on the ones that we got right now. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be able to do a full in-depth review. We're going to find out is the reimagined better than the OG. Uh, we're going to do the on-foot. This is a size 10. We're going to do the on-foot. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. We're going to get to really find out is the, if the reimagined is better than the original. Now, this is the first time we'll be able to do this because all the reimagines before this, the only one that actually changed the shoe was the Royal, and we didn't have original, um, or just a retro of Royal to do a side-by-side com side -side comparison, nor did we really care to do it, but this was the most important one, and uh, our favorite one, because honest to God, this is my favorite, this is one of two of my favorite shoes. I love this shoe, man. I, I, this shoe means a lot to me in this form, uh, the original form. It was the first sneaker I ever got as a child, uh, War to the ring, War to the Wings fell off. Um, back in two thousand, the two thousand two thousand one retro, that was the first pair I had as a kid, and it, it still lit. It still lives here, you know, twenty some years later. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm just glad to be able to to be able to sit down and give you guys my full opinion on this. This iconic sneaker, man, it's just, you know, let's let's get into it, man. Let's not let's not waste too much time because like I said, these are coming. These are coming out Saturday, February 17th, and we gotta get this review up so we know if the reimagine is better than original. And it's not. I'm a, I'm not even gonna give you guys not even gonna wait make you wait for the answer because it's not it's not better. And you'll see why. So let's just get into it. We're gonna do the 2018 box label. If you can see First thing first, on the boxes, they just flipped. You know what I'm saying? So on the original, you got the cement on the bottom and the black on the top. And then on the reimagine, you got the cement on the top and black on the bottom. And I've been waiting for this 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 box to come back for a while now. I think the last time we seen this box might have been the Thunders. The Red Thunders got this box. If I'm not mistaken, the Red Thunders got this box. Uh um the GS was still, a lot of the GS was still getting this box, but this is a box that I don't mind seeing because it's, it's just that sweet. And this is the original Retro 4 box that it came in. Just a flip. Even the Jumpmans are the same. The Flights are, are the same color. The Flight is the same color. The Elephant Tone. Now, this box is a few years old. This box is a few years old. This box is a few years old, so it's not as gray as it used to be, but this is a fresh new one, so it's gray. We're gonna get the style number Air Jordan 4 Retro Size 10, Black Fire Red Cement Gray, style number 308497, color code 060. It is a Foot Locker pair. Remember my Foot Locker was sticking eight stickers on there? So this pair did come from Foot Locker. And then now let's read this one. This one says Air Jordan 4 Retro Black Fire Red Cement Gray. Style number is F FV5029, color code 006. So this color code is 060, but this color code is 006, and the style numbers are nowhere near the same. So we're gonna open them both up. And we got a treat over here. I'm gonna get into that a little later. You open the lid there, it's exactly the same. Same fire red color and everything. Lids, oh, this one has a Nike. So on this lid, you got Nike Air, and this one you got Jumpman Air on both sides. So we're gonna get those out of the way. And this one, the original one came with the, the black 
uh, trash bag paper. As you can see, this was the pair that I had on when my son was born, Deuce. So you do see his birthday with the uh, signature on there. I'm gonna take these out first. And and like I said, man, just just off the first, you know, the first renderings, the first pickup, you could just tell that this is something that you would have rather had, you know, because it just first off the black cement name. This is this is a darker shoe. And when I get them side by side, you're going to see this is a, a darker shoe. This one comes with the cement paper, not the tissue, not the trash bag paper. I got the, the cement paper. And then as you can see, so yeah, even with this one being old, it still gives this one pressure. It still puts pressure on this one with this one being years old, years old. So we're going to pull them both out, man. Y'all can see how happy I am. I'm finally able to do this review in comparison. Got them both in hand. Yeah, so Nike did shock drop these uh, last week. And here's one of the shock drop pairs side by side. And this one, this one is just... And right off the rip, this is a bigger shoe. This is a fatter shoe, as you can tell, man. If you When I hold them like this... When I hold them like this, and they're both the same size, these are both size tens. You could just see the more cushion around the ankle than this one. This one has a more sleek profile, which I like. You know what I'm saying? This one has a more sleek profile, which I like. And this one is a lot heavier and a lot, you know, you know. It's probably more comfortable, but at the same time, just off the, the first look of it, even the tongue, the tongue is a lot fatter, and this one has a slimmer tongue you know what i'm saying and then you notice off rip you got the red the orange nike hang tag and then on this one you got the black one just like that so i know a lot of y'all are not going to be able to do this because y'all don't have these you know what i'm saying and if you did have them you probably don't mess them up by now um but we're able to do that, so we got to give it to you. And let's just do this one first. Let's just go over this one. The leather is amazing. They got some great leather on it, but it just don't give me the same vibe that this one does. This one gives me that 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 vibe like, you know what I'm saying? This one looks like a retro. This one could be like, this is an original from 1989. It gives the look. This one is just like, I, I believe that this one just came out. If you get what I'm saying, Sneaker Gang, this one did just come out. And like I said, the leather is amazing. They put the best leather they possibly could. The shoe has a definitely a, a rich shine to it. And that's one of the things that you notice off rip is just how shiny this shoe is. Um, and then as you wear it, as you wear it and it creases in it and it gets older, the leather should shine even more. It should get softer and shine anymore. But be careful. You're going to scuff this one. Be careful. This is a, a easily scuffable leather. This is like scratch and you're going to see it. You know what I'm saying? The leather is that good. The big bang, you already know the, 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 the money shot on the back. You already know the Nike, the Nike air on the back, the back pull tabs. And I'm going to just say... Off rip, the Nike Airs are down there spot on. You know what I'm saying? They down there spot on. You can't miss with that. Look at that. They down there spot on. And then you got the uh, the Jumpman's on the tongue. Let's move this out the way. The Jumpman and the flight on the tongue. And they about spot on too. You know what I'm saying? It's not too much difference in this shoe. It's just one is new buck and one is leather. And then you this one is like got a little fatter, you know, tongue the upper is a little fatter you know more cushion and then this one has a more sleek a more sleek and slim profile and i and i really rock with that i would rather have this one let's go down to the sole flip it up on the bottom let's put this one right here the leather is almost the leather on these is down there almost the same as the leather on this chair you know what i'm saying so if we flip them on the bottom Sneaker gang, y'all with me? Make sure y'all comment sneaker gang in here. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all comment that. Let us know you y'all in attendance. This one, trust me, of course, this one has been worn. But there you go, the bottom. And everything is pretty much spot on. They, they really didn't change too much. They just made this one leather and made this one new, but as they should be. And then even the grays. The gray on this one is, you know, it's aged. The shoe is old. The shoe is about five years old now. 
uh, almost six. It's, damn, it's, it's crazy that this shoe been out that long because you, this came out in 2018, we in 2024. So yeah, it's about six years old. So it's like a six year difference between these two. And even on the, the back of the tongues, you got the Air Jordan upside down. Fours always got the Air Jordan upside down because at some point they say that the shoe was worn with the tag flipped down like this. So it re Air Jordan, and that's why Unions were like that. That's why they came like that. The wings, wings, spot on. I don't really see too much different. The wings are down there spot on. You know what I'm saying? This is a black cement fort. It's just leather instead of new buck. So the reimagined theme is like, okay, imagine if these came leather instead of new buck. Would you rather have this one or would you rather have this one? I'm still going with this one hands down, bro. This one hands down gives you, it's just darker. It's darker as you can see, it's darker. This one is blacker. When you get them side by side like that, this one is just darker. Even though this shoe is six years old, it's still darker than this one. You know what I'm saying? So even, I, and I just, that was one of the things that I really loved about this shoe. It was just like, when you seen this one, it was how dark it was. Like the black cement four, you just knew when you saw it, like that's that thing. You could see it from across the, you know what I'm saying? This one, it's just necessary. It's, it's necessary. It's like, at some point they was gonna give us this. At some point they was gonna do this, you know what I'm saying? And it's here now. We able to do the review and the comparison side by side. Um, we rocking with everybody, man. Shout out to y'all. We got some great stuff to comment, coming. We just did episode 46, All I Need. Uh, we working with um, Twins Auto. We got something coming up with them. Great, just be on the lookout. Um, everything, man. If it just, just, just do some comment and let us know how you feel about either one of these shoes right here. And uh, also the Super Bowl, man. I just, I had something to say because it was like they praised Kanye for doing what he did on the Super Bowl. It was like a genius move by just putting a website at the bottom of the video and telling everybody to go to the website and cop the Yeezy Pies or, you know what I'm saying? It was like, we spent so much on the commercial that we didn't have time to do nothing for the commercial or the film. And so we just gonna drop the message. It was, it was the message that got clear across versus the antics in the commercial. And I and I just want to ask you guys, do it look familiar? Do do what Kanye what Kanye did does it look familiar? Where's the website in all my videos? You know, and we've been doing this for how long? So you they're they're making they're 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 labeling Kanye a genius for his marketing of the video. And I just like when I seen it, I'm like this shit looks familiar, you know what I'm saying? Of course, because that's what we do. And and I've been doing this much longer than him, you know what I'm saying? So this website of mine been uh, at the bottom of video since we launched last year, you know what I'm saying? So if they label him a genius and he didn't even the originator or the creator of it, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that I am, I just know I wasn't really seeing it too much before I did it, I, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, if me and Kanye is having some of the similar ideas and same brain activity, I might be on to something. You know what I'm saying? Because he was at some point a billionaire working with all these companies and his marketing strategies and everything had got him, you know, to where he's at. So I'm just, you know, guesstimating that I'm on the right path, you know, if some of these successful, successful people are doing the same things that I'm doing. You catch my vibe, you know what I'm saying? So, but that's, 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 he say, she say, under the rug, over the rug, he could have got it from somewhere else that I haven't seen before, but who knows? All me and Sneaker Gang know is that this website goes at the bottom of every video and on shorts go at the top of the video. So this is what we doing and this is where we at. And we wasn't impressed by what Kanye, we wasn't impressed by what Kanye did because we do it every day. You know what I'm saying? We've been doing that. It's just, where's our 19 million? You know what I'm saying? But it's coming. We're not going to worry about that. We're coming. But here we go. Air Jordan Retro 4. Reimagine. Black cement. You got the leather on this side. You got the new buck on this side. And also, these came with the white uh, structure tab on the inside. 
and uh, let's pull this out so we can see the sock liners. Everything's the same. They didn't change nothing. Everything's the same and everything's spot on. They just made this one leather and they changed the color of the hang tags from orange to black, you know? Could they give us another orange one? Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Could they even made it red? For sure. Nike Air on the inside. Do they exactly face the exact same way? Let's put them up next to each other. And yes. Yes. Everything is everything is spot on with these. Everything is spot on with these. Uh, let me get some thumbnail pics. I'm going I'm to do it like this. I'm going to do it like this for the thumbnail. We're going to do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Let's try to do this for the thumbnail so y'all can see when y'all click. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's do something like this because they got to know. They got to know. They got to know, man. Shout out to everybody. Appreciate the love. Y'all going out Saturday? Now, mind you, this shoe don't come out to Saturday the 17th. This review will be up either tonight or tomorrow. And you guys going to have time to think. You know, I know everybody's going to go after it because of what it is. It's going to have some type of resale value to it. it might not be sky high. It's damn sure not going to be as much as these when they first came out. But it's, gonna, it's definitely some money to be made in these. Definitely some money to be made in these, man. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Nike, man. Appreciate the love sending us this one. And then we got to get into this on the flow. So, of course, y'all know what time it is. It's time to... You know, be dabbling again with the with these joints. So we just gonna pull this one out. Pull this one out. Maybe we get you a little on foot of these. I know y'all, you know, you know, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's just this is just a sample pair. This is a sample pair. We got a lot of shoes in our lap. Shout out to Nike man for rocking with us and staying down with us and keep giving us stuff. We got a lot of shoes in my lap right now. This is what you call a Ghost Force One. This is a Ghost Force One, and we got a lot in store with this one. Um, it's pretty much an eight anniversary with a twist, you know. And I'm not gonna say too much about this one because there's a lot of a lot of stuff around this one. I'm gonna definitely be able to give you an on foot of this. An on foot of this. No need to give you an on foot of these. But I want y'all to understand that this shoe is important. This shoe is very important, and there's a lot of later dates to come with this one, but it came in the mail, and I wanted y'all to just see the first renderings of it, so y'all know that it came in the reimagine in the Black Cement review video comparison, so now that we have it, the Ghost Force 1, you see that say GF1 on the back? Ghost Force 1, G89, G689, Ghost Force 1. Um, I just want to show these. I don't want to do no review and I don't want to say nothing. I just want to let you know that gray is the color right now. Gray is in there and you know, gray is in there. So we're going to sit these right here because these mean a lot. These mean a lot and they are just a sample and, it, and, it's, and it's, it's some extra stuff going with this one. It's some, it's some extra stuff with me and Twins. See, it said me and Twins got some shit coming. Let's get it, man. Shout out to the love. Appreciate everybody. We definitely going to get this review up. Make sure you be safe Saturday. A lot of people are definitely going to be out. This should, this should be a sellout. No problem. Uh, you might see some, some grade schools, um, you know, slip through the cracks, some pairs next couple of days, maybe a couple of restock, but this shoe will sell well. It won't be a sitter. Trust me, it won't be a sitter because it got some money value into it. So make sure in the comments you let us know how you feel about these. Are you feeling the leather version over the new buck? Are you feeling the new buck? Me, hands down. It's not even a comparison. It's the same shoe, but if you set them both on the shelf like this next to each other, you're, I feel like you're going to take this one first because of the, you know, it's just so many leather shoes. But when they give you this one in new buck, it was like, yeah, let's get it, you know. Let's get it, man. Appreciate the love, man. Saturday, if you still need a pair, hit us up. Hit us up. The pre-order is open right now. Make sure you get with us, 313-282-6729. Or you can hit us up on the Instagram at gsneaks underscore 89. You can hit us up on Twitter. You can hit us up on uh, Facebook. You can hit us up on TikTok. You can hit us up on YouTube. Wherever you see this video, wherever you see anything, wherever you see our name, get with us. Air Jordan, Retro 4. Reimagine black cement, and, and and the thing is that this is not the reimagine. We got a couple of them. It's not like just a one shoe. Like 
there's no telling when they're gonna stop the reimagined theme or when they just say, all right, we're done with it. This is just where we at now. We probably only got about what three to four shoes so far in the reimagined theme. We got the the first was the lost and found. The second one was the uh uh I'm, 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 my mind is going blank right now. I just know off rip. We got the reimagined one, Royal. We got the reimagined one, um, Chicago, which is the lost and found. Now we got this one. If I'm missing one, let me know. Let me know. Like I said, if you still need a pair, pair hit us up. Come on. We're going to give you some, some real good in-depth features. So let's start with the bottom. Front. Back, laces are the same. Everything's the same. Everything's the same. The side, the height of the shoe. This one is a little, is a little bigger though because these both both are size tens. Both are size tens, but this one is is a little you know. If you set them both in your hand, this one's a little longer. This one is a little longer. See, see. Man, run it up for us, man. Make sure y'all hit that like, comment, subscribe so we can continue to bring y'all this in-depth exposure of the sneaker culture, man. We're going to get as down and, and into it as possible, bro. Whatever y'all want to see, whatever y'all want to, you know, let us know, man. We're going to do our best to bring it forth to you. Leather on the bottom, new buck on the top. The new buck, just, it just rings more bells. It rings more bells, you know. Rings more bells. I'm not sure if the gray started off different colors because, like I said, this one was about six years old and the gray was not this gray. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely they got gray over the years, you know, just being in a display case, a little oxidation. And this is a fresh uh, cement gray on the bottom. So, but the eyelids are almost spot on still. So I'm guessing that the rubber just. You know, just aged a little bit. The air units, same, same. This is a shoe to love. These are both shoe to loves. And like I said, these are my top of all time Jordans. This shoe is in my top two. You know what I'm saying? My top two, because I'm going to just say, I'm going to put the white cement and the black cement neck to neck. You just got to because... They hold that much weight towards each other. At any given moment, you will like the white cement over the black cement. And what if they give us a reimagined white cement? You know what I'm saying? Who's to say we don't get a white new buck? Or, uh, you know, whatever they feel like they can make that shoe different. You know what I'm saying? It could be a, a white suede, white new buck. It could be, you know, something, something. Who's to say that we won't get it? You know what I'm saying? Who's they say they won't do this with the uh with the with the retro three black cement? Give us a new buck black cement three. You know, the sky's the limit. If they're giving us this type of stuff now, sky's the limit. Ain't no telling, man. Let's get it. Appreciate the love. Shout out to everybody. Let me grab the one with the black hang tag so you'll see. Orange or black? Orange or black? Which one you going with? Orange or black, man. We're gonna get into this on foot. I gotta get the on foot for the Ghost Force one, and I gotta get the on foot of these, man. These are fire, man. I'm glad that we were able to get them early so we could do this review because they still are unreleased and they drop on the 17th. Be careful going out to get your pair. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure you gonna, everybody going to try to grab more than one. It's a GR. It shouldn't be too bad to try to get one, but a lot of people and a lot of resellers are going to be after these. So just be careful. Stay tuned. Be patient, man. Yeah, I think if you really go out to get one, you should be able to get it. But if you don't want to go through the house on the BS, you can always hit up somebody like myself. Air Jordan Retro 4 Reimagine. Black Cement. We got them both here, finally. Let's get it, man. Shout out, y'all. Appreciate the love. Much, much more to come. Shout. We have about 1,400 subscribers. 1,400 subscribers right now. And I appreciate every last one of y'all, man. Let's do this. Just playing with shoes all day. We got the leather in this hand. And we got the new buck in this one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Air Jordans, man. Gotta love it. Let's get it, man. Appreciate the love, everybody. Let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is absolute pressure. Don't think I will wear these any differently. Only thing I might do is just bring the laces up some. 
This is pressure, man. These bitches are so fucking comfortable. You are, you already know. It's nothing that needs to be said about this shoe, man. You know what this is. If you see somebody rocking this like this, get out that man way. Get out that man way. He know what he doing. He know what he doing. Let's do it. How you feel? How y'all feel about these, man? Make sure y'all cop responsibly. Resellers gonna be out. Cut regular customers are gonna be out. Fans gonna be out. Y'all need these. Y'all need these. If y'all can't get them on your own, hit us up. Hit us up. Because we gonna snatch all of these. These is nice. You know what I'm saying? Just the, the overall quality. You know what I'm saying? It's a good shoe. It's a good one. Definitely a Jordan because you ain't got to. This one, the benefit of this one is you can't mess these up. If you don't scuff the leather, you ASAP. You good. You know what I'm saying? These, you got to worry about the new book. You got to put the crap on them. You got to be the boot repelling, the water repelling, whatever you want to call it. You got to be spraying those because these are getting white. As you see over six years, you know, that's, it starts to turn white on us. You know, just a lighter. It just comes from the dust. You ain't got to worry about these. Simple wipe off. Simple wipe off. This is black leather. These down there industrial. You can't mess these up, man. You're going to get your wares out of these. This is down there, if not, shoe of the year. I have not seen nothing that's going to top these. I haven't seen nothing yet. As of right now, shoe of the year. Here go the back. Nike's everywhere. Checks everywhere. Let's get it. Checks everywhere. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Sneaker gang. I'm only talking to sneaker gang. Once you subscribe, you sneaker gang. So if you see me, say what up. Scream out sneaker gang. We in here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let me throw one of these on in the meantime so y'all can see. I'll take this one off. Let's do it. Let's do it. The Ghost Force One. We in there. So we got on a Ghost Force One and a Reimagine at the same time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Sneaker gang in the building. Make sure y'all be safe Saturday. We copping crazy. Let's get it. I'm proud of myself, motherfucker. I done it.